Welcome to Mars, the next giant leap here at Carnegie Science Center. I am with Jason Brown, Henry Buell Jr., director of Carnegie Science Center. Jason, why Mars? We picked Mars because we knew we were gonna do something on space, and when we asked around Pittsburgh what people wanted, they said Mars. So it's a very interactive experience here. What is this area that we're standing in? So what we're looking at here is called Planet Lab, and the purpose of this is to help people understand what variables can affect climate on a planetary scale. What you're gonna see is a real-time scenario play out in front of you, and then you'll understand how that something like being hit by an asteroid would influence the climate of Mars over time. We are at the search for life now. We're searching for life on we Mars, are Jason. Indeed. Ooh, oh, look what I found. What is this? It's called manganese oxide, and what it means is that there is, at one point, both oxygen and liquid water were present. And as you know, here on Earth, in order to have life, we need both oxygen and liquid water. So as you drive these rovers around, you're looking for evidence of life on Mars, just like we're doing right now with rovers like Perseverance. So this gives people an opportunity to cruise around, look for things that might indicate that there was once life on Mars, and hopefully come to understand the kinds of things that we might find on Mars as we start looking around and settling there. Where are we now, Jason? There's so much to take in when you visit this exhibition. This is called Dream Big Space, and for everyone that loves the miniature railroad here at the Science Center, this is sort of the Martian version of it. It's an imagined future settlement on Mars, complete with all of the stuff you would need to run it. So it's got people, it's got greenhouses, it's got, it's got everything you need. What if you wanted to live cliffside? Well, then you would be like one of the Martian settlers who may end up living in a lava tube, an empty lava tube that cuts through to the surface and can look out over the beautiful landscape from their dwelling. And I love this area because everything you click on, you get a lot of information on, so it's very informative, makes well, it easy to learn. We want people to be able to explore and understand the entire settlement. Well, thank you for the tour today. I know I got to come back to check out more because there's a lot to take in. But you can now. It's officially open to the public here at Carnegie Science Center, Mars, the next giant leap. Thanks, Jason. Thank you. We'll send it back to the PTL studios. Sleepo looks great for traveling, you know, 300 million miles, right? Yeah. Her hair is always perfect. Well, <laughs> you know what? Yes. <laughs> Selena's hair is always perfect. <laughs> and our thanks to the Carnegie Science Center for these awesome Mars globes. We've been having fun with these. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like a snow globe, only it's Mars. It's Mars. And it's really kind of fascinating. I found my, it's kind of mesmerizing. You can end up staring at it for a while. There's so much Mars dust. I don't know if you can see right. the two little people they're, standing they're on the there, planet. They're there, though. They're there. They're, oh, yeah. There, you can see them right there. Yeah. That's fun. Well, Mars, the next giant leap, is the most expansive new experience added since the Science Center opened in 1991. And isn't it cool that this kind of stuff is in our city? It really is. And yeah. it's included in general admission, and it's officially open to the public. We want to pass that along. For more information, you can visit PittsburghTodayLive.com.